hi welcome to our youtube channel my name is dilip kumar today in this uh, video let's talk about uh, very nutritional value uh, you know plant this plant name is uh, purslane and uh, this is uh, 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 this is uh, some of the other names are uh, pigweed also we call it and uh, hogweed and also uh, this this contains a lot of other nutritional value that we will talk it in a later part and uh, this uh, uh, it belongs to the uh, family of uh, Portula KCA family which contains more than uh, 120 uh, species. Uh, you know this is a succulent plant. Succulent means uh, these uh, leaves are uh, thick and you can focus about the uh, leaves. The leaves are thick and also the stem is uh, thick. This is to store the you know water uh, that is how we call it as uh, succulent and 93% uh, of this plant weight is you know water. And it is also called, uh, you know, as I said, uh, little hogweed and uh, fatweed and uh, parsley. And it grows in a variety of conditions, dry, hot, uh, saline, and it is globally found in many regions uh, from North America to Australia. And uh, there is a reason for this. This we will uh, talk in uh, uh, later part. It has soft, fleshy, uh, you know, thick leaves and uh, juicy reddish uh, stem. Uh, the you can uh, fo you know focus about uh, the uh, you know uh, reddish uh, stems the whole plant may grow to an height of about uh, 30 to 40 uh, centimeters uh, in height and it produces yellow flowers and uh, the plant grows well throughout the year in any season of the year it as i said it produces uh, yellow flowers and the seeds are very small and are formed in a small uh, pod uh, which opens when the seeds are uh, mature you can uh, see the seed pot here you know this entire plant in a single plant you can find about 190,000 seeds per uh, plant compared to other commonly grown crops purslane is uh, more tolerant to pests uh, due to its uh, waxy layer uh, which uh, protects the plant from insects and uh, diseases you know there is very good uh, ecological importance purslane has a huge uh, uh, ecological uh, importance it has got uh, you know a special ability which makes this plant to adapt and uh, you know grow in a variety of conditions like uh, drought uh, high salinity region and uh, plants uh, on earth uh, are classified into three groups uh, based on uh, this uh, uh, usage of uh, you know carbon it's like uh, it is uh, you know uh, grouped as uh, uh, c3 uh, c4 and uh, cam and uh, most of the plants uh, almost 90 percent on earth are of uh, c3 type they follow c3 carbon cycle during uh, pho photosynthesis c4 pla plants uh, follow c4 carbon cycle and but some plants called as uh, uh, xerophytes those uh, live in extremely dry conditions like uh, deserts uh, follow CAM pathway during uh, uh, you know photosynthesis but the specialty of purslane is it can shift between C4 and uh, CAM uh, pathways depending on the environmental conditions uh, that's the reason it grows in uh, climatic uh, regions of the world from north America to Australia this plant uh, this plant can grow in dry seasons uh, also by following a CAM pathway during a photosynthesis thus it is a drought resistant uh, plant it's one more special ability is it can grow in high salinity soils uh, and uh, you know a high salinity soil uh, uh, salinity of uh, soil is a problem for other normal crops which can't grow in uh, uh, such high saline soils but purslane has high salinity resistance and it grows well even in such soils not only that it uh, even promotes the growth of other salt sensitive crops by absorbing uh, salts from soil you know surrounding soil and also uh, bringing down the salinity levels of uh, that uh, soil so because of its spe special abilities to survive in drought uh, like uh, situations 
and grow in saline conditions uh, many researchers are thinking that this can be a potential uh, uh, source of uh, nutrition in future due to global warming and uh, climate change uh, actually in my childhood uh, uh, there was a old lady in front of our house uh, we used to call her ajji and that ajji used to make uh, uh, curries out of uh, different uh, weeds and uh, some neighbor ladies used to make fun of her because she was uh, uh, you know uh, making uh, curries out of uh, weeds it was so tasty but now i understand uh, she was uh, way uh, you know more uh, uh, you know intelligent than other uh, people who made fun of her but you know even she even personally i had seen her she lived throughout her uh, life without even uh, going to hospital that is how now i am getting uh, uh, knowing the more importance about uh, this even though even though it grows so well in all uh, uh, you know uh, crops this is called uh, this is uh, regarded as uh, weed and this purslane is used for uh, human consumption medicinal purposes uh, and is also used as an animal feed uh, there is very good nutritional value it is one of the nutrient rich nutrient dense you know uh, plant on earth it is an important source of vitamin a vitamin c you know 100 grams of purslane contains 44% of uh, daily recommended intake of vitamin a and 35% of uh, vitamin c and vitamin a is uh, you know powerful antioxidant it's you know essential for vision and healthy skill it is a rich source of uh, potassium that means you know it contains for every 100 grams of uh, this you know purslane plant we get about 494 mg of uh, you know potassium and it contains about 68 uh, mg of uh, you know uh, magnesium uh, for 100 grams of uh, this uh, purslane plant and calcium about uh, 65 mg it contains for 100 grams and that is uh, you know these you know uh, uh, it's a you know it's a great uh, source of uh, two minerals that is uh, magnesium and calcium which are important to our uh, bone health this plant is one of the few vegetable rich in you know uh, omega 3 fatty acids uh, you know these omega 3 fatty acids in fact uh, purslane has the highest recorded uh, level of uh, omega 3 fatty acids found in any land based uh, plant it contains five times more omega-3 fatty acids than spinach, broccoli, avocado, and you know avocado means uh, butter fruit, and also strawberries. Uh, the human body has the uh, capacity to uh, uh, the human body has the capacity to uh, produce uh, needs you know omega-3 fatty acids, uh, but the food sources of omega-3 fatty acids uh, generally are expensive. Example. Uh, you know mostly omega-3 is available in uh, salmon fish uh, walnuts which are not affordable to poor uh, but thanks to God's creation we have got this amazingly nutritious weed that is purslane uh, it contains two types of uh, omega-3 fatty acids that is uh, alpha linoleic alpha linoleic acid and uh, EPA ALA is found in many plants but EPA uh, omega-3 fatty acid is found mostly in animal products such as uh, fish it contains uh, five to seven times you know more uh, alpha linoleic acid than spinach and little amount of EPA uh, omega-3 fatty acids uh, omega-3 fatty acid are very important to our health uh, as they keep arteries healthy and thus can uh, you know prevent strokes heart attacks and various other heart uh, related you know problems purslane also contains some uh, b complex vitamins like uh, vitamin b2 vitamin b3 vitamin b6 uh, and also uh, it contains carotenoids such as uh, b carotene and uh, uh, tocopol and other and other minerals like uh, iron zinc and uh, manganese you know uh, it uh, contains but purslane also contains high amounts of oxalic acids and oxalates this can be an issue for those who have kidney stones so be mindful uh, 
uh, about uh, eating excess uh, you know uh, about this uh, purslane plant if you have uh, uh, kidney issues this is uh, uh, few details about uh, uh, this detail uh, if you have uh, uh, any uh, query or uh, comment section uh, uh, please uh, uh, type in uh, uh, comment uh, in which uh, you know doubt you have regarding this uh, purslane plant and also thank you for watching and uh, please let us know which topic on which topic you want to make the video you know uh, in our next video thank you so much